20 past 7 in the morning of day 5 and I've woken up with a horrendous dose of the Arthurs. Not feeling good. Beautiful hotel last night in Uzud. I think I got too much sun yesterday. The rest of them went down to the Uzud Falls, which are apparently the second largest falls in Africa. I'm a bit gutted I didn't get to see them to be honest. So today, today is a big day, 360 or 380 miles. We're heading north all the way to Sichuan. Two minutes, the waterfall's there. Right, we're gonna go and look at the falls now. Whew. Bloke's wondering why we're walking to his house. Bonjour. Oh, wowza. Look at that. <sighs> Wee monkey. Look at that. <sighs> wow. That's impressive, isn't it? That is impressive. Yeah, it's well worth doing. Nice, yeah, it's beautiful. You'd never think that was there. I feel delicate today. There's some fantastic roads along here. Oh dear, not installed with much confidence in any burp or fart this morning. Shows you, you've got to be so careful with the sun. I felt fine yesterday, all of a sudden it just hit me. Look at that ribbon of tarmac down there. Check out that sat nav dial. Look, I mean, look at the screen. Oh, you didn't expect this. It went to a little bit of a dirt track for about 200 metres. And then a little old bridge. Alright. Lyndon's just let me fire on ahead, try and catch the group up. He's got Cassie on the back. I think the other lot will be quite far ahead by now. Beginning to wonder where the others are, because I've kind of been caning it and I've not caught up with the guys up ahead. I didn't think we were that long at the falls, maybe we won't. I'm just hoping that everyone sat now has got the same route as I do. Otherwise this could be a very lonely long day. What a fantastic road though. It's always nice when the road just disappears over a summit. <laughs> Where are you? Not another soul on this road. Wow. What a phenomenal stretch of tarmac. Morocco's a hidden gem. Wow. I think the old cannonball bike run used to come down to Morocco. My god, you'd have some fun. No better bike than a GS for this. Little bit of back brake, get yeah, that stopped. Where are those other lads? Well, I was starting to get a little bit concerned, but thankfully I've caught up with the other lads. They are way, way, way ahead. So I reckon the best option would probably be for us to pull over, grab some splash, and wait for them. You should see that. I'm just trying to get somewhere that's blatantly obvious. We've got 312 miles to do. This is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Feel the earth move and then hear my heart burst again. Look at this, beautiful tarmac, fantastic roads, what is not to like? Nice people, oh, Morocco baby, exotic, taste of adventure, cheap as chips, get yourself here. Look at that road, that's all road down there, look at the sat nav, just zigzags all over the place, what a great looking road. I know that's sad to get excited over road, but it's a nice road, have I mentioned road enough? Road. <laughs> Coming to Morocco, use these sort of roads, the N roads, P roads, R roads, great fun. Tell you what, it rakes cannabis. 
Morocco is very well known for its cannabis cultivation and the north is probably its, its homeland allegedly. You can smell it. He got weed! He got weed! Well folks, we made it. We're in Sichuan. Been a long old day. About 380 miles I think we've done today. Temperature's not too bad, I think the hottest it got to is about 38, 39, believe it or not, that's fairly comfortable <laughs> compared with what it has been. Well I'm tired. But anyway, Sichuan. I think that's how you say it, Sichuan. Right up in the, the foot of the mountain. Lyndon was saying that this is where they stay when they come and do the off-road stuff. And they go up that mountain. Mental. But anyway, for now, shower. And then beer. Yeah. Sad to be going tomorrow, to be honest. It is so worth coming to Morocco, it really is. The roads, the roads are out of this world. I don't remember them being that good. There have been so many great motorbiking roads. They're phenomenal, they really are brilliant. Uh, right down through the middle of the country. It's, it's just awesome place. A lot like Spain uh, to come and ride. Really good. Uh, people, incredibly friendly. Said it before, look like pantomime villains, but they're all lovely people. They'll always try and help you. I can't, I can't recommend Morocco enough to you. You know, if you want a bit of adventure, this is a nice little place to come to because you're just putting your tiptoe into Africa. It gives you a nice little inkling as to the outside world, outside of Europe, what life can be like. Some of these people up in the mountains, they have nothing. They're literally nothing. You see them, they're sleeping at the side of the road. They sleep on the pavement. That is their entire existence. And they hustle every day just to make, you know, to get food, to get by. That's, that's it, that is their life. And some of them seem perfectly happy. Who are we to criticize? But anyway, that's deep enough. I need a beer and a shower. I've got to itch this beard. See you in a bit. Oh, let me show you around. Check out this for a view. That is Sichuan. And that mountain up there, that's the start of it. It goes right behind the hotel. That's where Lyndon comes on the off-road bikes. Get yourself here. That there. It's a toxic weapon. That is my dirty washing from a week of 45 to 48, 49 degree heat on a motorbike. It is honking. Be thankful you don't have smell of vision. <laughs> right, beer. <laughs> Keep laughing. Mr. Smart, you are just in time. Oh, this savior. Man. Thank you very much. This man next to me has an acid sense of humour. <laughs> Cheers boys, we've... Uh, Cheers. We've, we've made that. it, we've, again. Yeah. Chef Shaun. Yeah. Don't give me pissed with all cider. Come on Greg. No, no, no. Right, right Greg, tell us that again. Well, I know, I'm not sure it's true, so let me find my facts and then I'll do it, alright? Just tell us. No, 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 us. I can't, I can't. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. What Greg's saying is... <laughs> Here. I'll show you. The walled city down there. Apparently, there were no Westerners allowed in here till 1953. Is that right? So I'm told. He That's said true. it. Right, come on, Tinta Web, prove us right or Don't prove us wrong. Shoot the messenger. That wall there. It goes right around the city. Oh, uh. 1925. Right. With the Spanish here. Mm. Yeah. The, the wall is gathered from a long time ago, you mm. know? Right. Because they put it. The wall they put it in a cage all around with seven doors. Seven that was doors. 925, uh -huh. and at six o'clock, if you don't go inside in the Medina, the doors are closed. You're locked out? Yeah, yeah, they're closed. You need to wait at six o'clock in the morning, the door open again. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Oh, and in 1950, I had independent with the Spanish, they go from here, ah. free down. Oh wow. There you go. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okay, lovely okay. jubbly. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> lovely jubbly. <laughs> Where are you from? Me, Scotland. Scotlandia. Ah, ah Scotland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi, you know. Oh, hi, you know. That's the one. Oh, hi, oh, hi. <laughs>
it's probably better if you get in the front and then you, di you die quicker. Quicker, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get in the death seat. Bloody no. hole. Do you know where you're going? Take us in the tank, we're going to get bollocks. Oh, <laughs> God, yeah, hello. Oh. Need to follow that cab. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Follow, follow Brendan Foskin. Here we go. Follow, 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 follow. Follow. Yeah, yeah. Wherever he goes, we go. Adventure continues. Where are we? Shishwam. Yeah. Which is very hard to say if you've got a speech impediment. That's like right. Me. Five days of the heat and four beers. This is the Roger result. Clark is driving. Jesus. Are they right on that? I'm cooking it with something. Has, has anyone noticed where the cab that we're following has gone? Oh, it's in his taxi, it's calling it. Oh, right, we're causing the mayhem. Well, it's probably the most hazardous part of the whole trip, actually, is the taxi ride. Enjoy that. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> there were gaps that did not exist. All good so far. You loved we, that, Perry, didn't you? We survived it. Alibaba, this is a proper Alibaba bedroom. Oh, wow. Blimey. This is all. This is, this, is, this is a hotel, yeah. That's quite a cool shot. Oh, wow. It's cool, isn't it? That's where the magic happens. <laughs> That's where the magic happens, yeah. If you've got Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's very witty. Bad boy. <laughs> For this is the end. I drown and dream this moment. So overdue, I owe It's the start of the last day, all filled up. Time to go and play. Now with these new GSs, you can change your mood, the modes on the hoof. So you can change it to enduro just by hitting the mode button. Pull the clutch in, that's me in enduro. I think we're just doing a shale road like this for about 10, 20 miles, and then we'll connect up with the main road. Let's try this stand up lock. Everybody's doing it. If all my mates are doing it, I have to do it. Oh, I wish I could get the drone up. They're a little bit touchy, the Moroccans, about having a drone up. The police are, are very hot on it, apparently, and if they see it, they're on you. If you're going to come to Morocco and you want to film with a drone, even if it's just for private stuff, there's a website where you have to go, you have to apply, I think via email, for permission to have the drone in. So it's gone so quiet. I'm concentrating on trying not to kill myself. God, it uses so many, loads of different muscles. Well, even on this, different parts of your forearm are sore, your leg, different parts of your thighs, your hips. Ooh. Oh, got a donkey jam up ahead. Look how quiet it's gone. <laughs> Dang it! Stay there, pops. Awesome. Great way to end the trip with something like this. Easy off road, but wow. I mean, look at that. And all the cannabis. <laughs> Forests. Everything the light touches is weed. I think I've been breathing in too much of it. It does feel so much more stable when you stand up. It's just bloody hard work. Look at that view. Oh my god, wow. And to think, tomorrow I'm at work. <laughs> yeah! We had a forest fire. This would just be the most chilled out place on the planet, wouldn't it? <laughs> trying not to die, trying not to die. Are we on the tarmac yet? You really just have to relax. Totally relax. Which is very hard when you're convinced you're going to die. Oh, bloody hell. Please be tarmac, please be tarmac. Yes, tarmac! Oh, oh wow, some folds. Photo time. We will stand tall and face it all together at Skyfall. At Skyfall. The things I do for you lot. It's doing wonders for me, piles.
Maybe shouldn't have put it back in dynamic yet. I'm sure there's road up here. Oh, that's beautiful with this. You literally could just change it on the hoof. It's great. Ooh. Jesus, that's not fun. Oh, hated that downhill on slidey mud. Oh my God. <laughs> Get me on tarmac. Yeah, definitely changed it to dynamic mode too early. <laughs> what a great last morning that is. Really good, I enjoyed that. Look at that. When you're away riding, sometimes you concentrate on the road too much. Look up, look behind you, look around you. Ah look, Visor Cat. Even good for wiping dust away in dry environments. That's Visor Cat. Right Jill, I need a commission. I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding. Seriously, I'm only kidding. Look at that. Just breathtaking. Oh, I might have to overtake here. I just may have to go and have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Just in the distance there is Sueta. So we're just going to be rolling up to the border soon. This is what you get at the borders. They're just trying to make a living, but everyone's trying to hustle. Bonjour, merci. Right, so that's us pretty much through the Moroccan side. Done police, done customs. Well, we just have to do the last little bit. And then right over there, that's the entrance to the Spanish enclave. And you do the whole rigmarole again. Police, then customs. And then that's you in. It's like that at every single border, basically. Police point, customs point, in. And then to leave, police point, customs point, out. And repeat. Can take 20 minutes, can take two days. It just depends. Hello, in passport. That is that. And now the Spanish bit. So we're in, back in Spain. Easy as that. So now, just along to the ferry port, we'll see you on the boat. So, that is us back. In Spain, crossing's really painless on that hydrofoil thing. It's literally about 25 minutes. A little bit choppy in places though. <laughs> but we are back. Let me straighten that up. That's better. So now it's just the final leg back to the base. And that is us. I do believe it's beer o'clock. Yeah. 